what's going on YouTube? So my lucky hope here and today do I have a special pixel art tutorial for you today? That's right, I've done Naruto vs Sasuke and now this is a 50 sub special So again, thank you very much for 50 subs You know it may not be a lot for some people but for me it is very much a lot and again Thank you very much for that and today I've done a special tutorial for you And without further ado, let me just give you a quick tour of what you're going to be building in your world So we'll go with the Sasuke first and as you can see Sasuke is looking very nice Let's Zoom in a bit more though so we can get a better look at him now this build took a quite a very long time to edit and so this is yes this is an image but it's an image that has been converted and re-completely really designed which that's how most pixel arts are done for those that are wondering it's actually it's looking very nice it's a bit annoying because i caught jiva right in the background but you know he's looking over them <laughs> but and now we're moving on to uh the ruto as you see there's a lot more detail in the ruto and that's just because he has well he has more of his uh clothes in there sasuke doesn't have everything because he's lower down than naruto at that point in time but it is looking very nice and you can see all the colors have been smoothed out so you can see it is a completely edited and designed pixel art just for you people to do and we are going to be doing this entire thing in to a tutorial i'm not so sure how we're going to start this tutorial well we're going to start it by doing sasuke first and then we're going to move on to naruto and then we're going to move on to coloring now i'm just going to zoom out so you can see the entire image and then i'm going to switch over to the console and i'm going to tell you what we're going to need so i'll see you in a second all right then there we go we see we switch over to our console and now i'm going to be explaining the blocks we're going to be needing and the dimensions of the build and then we're going to be getting straight into the tutorial so without further ado for today's part and the blocks we're going to be needing we're going to be needing black concrete blue concrete and gold block and for those that don't know gold block is my placement block because i really don't like gold block because it just looks so weird i know a lot of people use uh bookshelves but i don't like this i mean I never want to use this or diamond in any of my pixel tutorials or just builds. So, that's why I use gold block. So these are the three blocks we're going to be doing for today. And then for the rest of the blocks, for the next parts, for the shading and everything, we're going to be needing all these. So, bone block, black concrete powder, white wool, red wool, pink wool, black wool, cyan terracotta, brown terracotta, brown wool and blue terracotta red concrete red terracotta gray concrete yellow wool yellow concrete and snow light gray concrete powder and white terracotta and also light concrete orange terracotta orange wool and just terracotta and finally but not least light gray concrete so I'll put a list on the screen as well if you want to pause the video and grab all those blocks right now. And if I was you, I would sort those blocks in a chest. Or you can place them on the ground and use the quick tool. I don't use the quick tool. Well, I've got it on, I just don't use it though because it's kind of annoying as um, reason being. Because just because, well, I have a lot of blocks and because there's so many blocks to use, I'd be grabbing like more than this slot can take so i just put them in a chest because i've got loads of blocks and builds to do as well but enough of that moving on to the tutorial itself the dimensions of this build is going to be 440 in width so you want to make sure you got a lot of space like a lot of space and in height it's 220 and you don't need to really count out the dimensions unless you want to build it in a certain area and you need enough space then sure but we're going to be starting to the very left so we're going to be starting from the very left, and we won't be going to the very right, but we will be starting to the very left. So basically we just need to make sure you have 440 space going to the right. And once you have set up your dimensions, or you're just ready to go and got all your blocks ready, we're going to move straight onto the tutorial. And if you do like this build, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe, and it would help out my channel a lot. And turn on that notification bell to get notified when new parts of this build come out, and other picks what tutorials I do. And without further ado... Once you have your space done on the very left hand side, we're just going to start off by placing one blue concrete down. And then with our blue concrete, we're going to place another 10 going on top. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And take out your black concrete and place one on top. And there we go, that's all for the blue concrete we're going to be needing. So that's all the blue concrete we're just going to be needing for today and probably, well, just the rest until we get into the shading. 
Because for the outline, well, we're just going to be doing all the outline first, so we're just going to be using black concrete and gold block. But that's what it should look like first. And we should have all 11 blue concrete going up there, and then one black concrete on top. And once we have done that, we're going to fly back straight into the build, and to this black concrete, we'll have our black concrete. We're going to place two going to the right. So one, two. And then we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from this three here. So bottom right diagonal. And we're going to place four going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And we're going to place seven going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to place one on top. Then we're going to fly back down. So back down to here. And we're going to place another six going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Have a quick zoom out. And that's what that little area right there should look like. And once we have done that, fly back to the right hand side. So back to here, where we just left off. And we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. And then from this bottom right diagonal right here, we're going to go 20 going to the right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And that's twenty. So, there's twenty-one in total there. If you do want to count, you can count if you want to make sure you've gone right. For those that just don't want to count and just want to go straight into it because you know you're correct or you just think you're correct, then we're just going to move back straight to here and we're just going to keep and continuing on so do another bottom right diagonal from here and we're going to place 12 going to the right from this bottom right diagonal here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here and we're going to place four going to the right so one two three four and then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And we're going to place another four going to the right. So, one, two, three, four. Then do another bottom right diagonal. This time we're going to place a three to the right. So, one, two, three. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And we're going to place five to the right this time. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And we're going to place three to the right, so one, two, three. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And then from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place four to the right, so one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And we're going to place three to the right, so one, two, three. Now we're just going to zoom out and have a look at what we've done so far. So this is actually the only clothing for Sasuke, actually, that we've just done right there. So all of that is going to be filled in with blue concrete. Now, we're not going to do any filling in yet or today. All the filling in we're going to be doing is at the end of the tutorial because we have a lot of shading and filling in to do all together. So, I would leave that. There is no shading in that area, so if you do want to fill it in, you can. But I'm not going to fill it in, so I'm just going to leave it and we're going to do it at the end. But once we have done that, you're ready to go, we're going to fly back over to the one that we placed over here that's sticking up. So, fly back in the wall here. And, once you've flown back over to here, we're going to place one on top. Then we're going to do an up right diagonal from here and place another one on top. I'm just going to zoom out just so you can see we are going off there. If anyone didn't get that. And once you have done that, we're going to fly back in. So back to the top of this two here. And we're going to do an upright diagonal from here and place two on top. So one, two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal and we're going to place another two on top. So one and two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal and this time we're going to place three on top. So one, two, three. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal from here and we're going to place two on top. So one, two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal and place another two on top. So one and two. And then do another upright diagonal and place three on top. So one, two, three. And we're just going to have a quick zoom out and have a look at what we've done so far. I don't want to zoom out too often, but at the start I zoom out quite a bit more often than usual. Just so we know where we kind of are so far. And once we have done all of that, taking a quick break, fly back into here. So back up to the top. Once we're back at the top, 
we're going to do it with a little bright diagonal and we're going to place two on top so one two then we're going to do a bit of an upright diagonal, and then this time we're going to place three on top, so one, two, three. We're going to do another upright diagonal, and place two on top, so one, two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. We're going to place one on top this time. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an upright diagonal. And then from this upright diagonal we've just done, we're just going to do a bottom right diagonal. And once we've done this bottom right diagonal, we're going to fly back to the upright diagonal we just did, so back to this singular one in the middle here. And we're just going to place the two on top from here, so one and two. And I'm just going to zoom out quickly. And as you can see, that bit should look like that. So that little bit there is done, just a bit of the hair going up for the outline. And once we have done that, we're going to fly back to the bottom right diagonal here, so back to here. And once we've flown back to here, we're going to place seven going underneath, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now once we've done this, we're going to do a bottom left diagonal from here, and from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to go underneath by 23. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. And if you want, you can take out your place and block, and we can place five going underneath from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And basically, that just shows we've done everything correctly going up here and down here. So we can destroy those placement blocks. I just put them there. I don't do that all the time. But it's just there basically to know that we've done everything correctly so far. And this bit here correctly. So, we can just go and destroy these. And it is also another five to the left from here. So one, two, three, four, five. And as you see, we have done everything correctly here. So, let's destroy these. And not destroy that. <laughs> and once we have done that, though, we're going to fly back to the bottom of this 24 in total. And we're going to go up 3 from here. So, we want to go, including the bottom one, up from 3. So, 1, 2, 3. And from this third one here, we're going to place 1 to the right, just like so. So, as you can see, there's a 2 gap right here, just like so. And then from this one that we just placed to the right, we're going to place three on top. So one, two, three. And once we've done this, we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place four on top. So one, two, three, four. Then do another upright diagonal. And then we're going to place three on top. So one, two, three. Then do another upright diagonal. And then from this upright diagonal here, we're going to place another 4 on top this time, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we're going to do another upright diagonal and place 3 on top, so 1, 2, 3. And then do another upright diagonal, and this time we're going to place 2 on top, so 1, 2. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal and place another 2 on top, so 1, 2. Then, do another upright diagonal, and from this upright diagonal we're going to go up by 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal from here, and we're going to go up by three. So one, two, three. Now we're going to do another upright diagonal and go up by another three. So one, two, three. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal and go up by one. Do another upright diagonal and go up by three this time. So one, two, three. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal, and we're going to go up by two from here. So one, two. And then do another upright diagonal. I throw this upright diagonal. We're going to go up by three. So one, two, three. Then do another upright diagonal. And we're going to go up by four from here. So one, two, three, four. Then what we're going to do from here is we're going to do an upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to do an up left diagonal. And then we're just going to zoom out and have a look what we've done so far. And as you see, so far, that's what we should have done. And there we go, once we've zoomed out, we've had a little break, and we are ready to go back in. We're going to fly back in, and we're going to complete the outline of the ear. So I don't know if we'll be doing all the ear, like the inside, maybe. Um, But we're going to do the outside first, so the outside outline. So, we're going to fly back up to where we left off. And once we have flown back up to the top right here, we're going to be going up the up left diagonal we did, so basically we'll, we'll come around and then come back up here to this one here. But we're going to start from the up left diagonal first. 
which I didn't mean to break that. There we go, just place that back. Right, so yeah, we're going to be going off here. So let's do an up left diagonal from here. Uh, we're going to place one on top, just like so. Then we're going to do another up left diagonal and place another one on top, again, just like so. Then from here, we're going to do three up left diagonals. So, one, two, and three. From this third one, we're going to place one on top again, just like so. And then once again, we're going to do another three up left diagonals from here. So, one, two, and three. And again, on this third one, just place one on top, just like so. So far, we should be looking like this. And once we've done that, fly back up to this two at the top here. So back where to where we just left off. Once we've flown back up to here, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. And we're going to place one on top. Then we're going to do another up left diagonal from here, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And we're going to place two on top this time, so one, two. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. Place one on top. Then do another up left diagonal and place another two on top, so one, two. Then do another up left diagonal from here. And this time we're going to place four on top, so one, two, three, four. And then do another up left diagonal from here. And this time we're going to place one on top, just like so. Then do another up left diagonal, and this time we're going to go up by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to do an up right diagonal from here. And from this up right diagonal, we're going to place three on top. So one, two, three. Then we're going to do another up right diagonal, place one on top. Then we're going to do another up right diagonal and place two on top. So one, two. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal, place another one on top. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal, and this time place another two on top, so one, two. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal, and place one on top. Let's have a quick zoom out so far. So that should be a four there, a two, then a three, then a two, then another three, and then another two. And once you have done all of that, and you're ready to go, we're going to fly back into the build. So back into the top of these two here. And we're going to do two upright diagonals from here. So, one, and two. And from the second upright diagonal, we're just going to place one on top, just like so. And then we're going to repeat this two here. So this two going right here that we've just done. Two more times in an upright diagonal direction. So, upright diagonal, one on top. That's one, and there's two. And there you go, that should just be three twos in total. One, two, and three. Then, fly back up to the top, back to where we just left off. And do two right diagonals from here, so one and two. And from this second one, we're just going to place one going to the right, just like so. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And we're going to place 12 going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place two going to the right, so one, two, and then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal, and from this bottom right diagonal, what we're going to do is we're going to place one to the right, then we're going to place one underneath, and then fly up, and then place one on top. I'm just going to zoom out quickly and have a look at what we've done so far. Now as you can see, you can kind of already tell that we're actually doing the air, apart from if you zoom out fully, you can't really notice too much, but you can tell it's the shape of an ear. But you can't really tell what we've done, because we're starting from a very weird angle, to be honest. Well, we're actually going off a side angle for this build, usually you go from like a forward front face view. So the outlining might not actually take too long, but actually this entire tutorial, well, the Naruto will take a while. Sasuke won't, but the colouring in, the filling in, oh... <laughs> That would take a long time, that's for sure. But once we have done this, we are going to fly back into the build. And we're going to go on top first and complete that little area. So again, a bit more of the hair kind of here. So once we have flown back up to this one on top, we're going to place another seven going on top from here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And we're going to go up by eight from here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to go up by ten. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
And then we're going to do the upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place three on top. So one, two, three. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then from this upright diagonal, we're going to go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then finally, but not least, do another upright diagonal. We place one on top. And there we go. Once again, that is the end of the little hair there. So you notice there's actually a lot of shading in Sasuke with the, um, of course we can't do it now, but there will be a lot of shading. Anyway, but once we have done that outline, we're going to move back and finish the rest of the ear. So we want to fly back in. So we're only going to be in the outside, we won't be doing the inside yet. We'll go back to the inside because I don't want to make part one too long. And I usually aim for like 24 minutes, even though it is a special, it's not going to be like any extra long. It's just basically a special build. I want to keep them short as well, just so they're easy to do and easier to follow. So, we're going to fly back into the one hanging out under here. So, fly back in towards here, the one sticking out under the bottom right here. And place 15 under here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place one going to the left. And one underneath, and then we're going to place one to the right, just like so. There you go, that's like a little 2x2 two two square there. And what we're going to do actually, we're also going to fly to the bottom left corner of the 2x2 two two square. So to here, and we're just going to place one going to the left from here. And there we go. And then we're actually going to fly up to the up left corner of the square, so to this one here. And we're going to do an up left diagonal from here, just like so. So, as you can see, these two parts, basically, we'll be coming back to these two parts into the next tutorial, and we'll be doing the inside of the ear, just finishing that off, and doing the rest of the outline. So, once we have done that, though, we're going to fly back into the big line, and we're going down. So, we're going to be going down here again. So, fly back down to the bottom of the right corner, so to here. And we're going to place 9 going underneath from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And what we're going to do is we're going to place 1 to the left, now we're going to fly back into the right, so once again, another place will be coming off there to the left, but we're going to be going back down this line again. So, we're going to be going underneath 11 from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now what we're going to do from here is we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to go underneath by 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And we're going to go underneath by 15 from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And what we're going to do is we're going to place 1 to the left, 1 underneath, 1 to the right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from this one which is placed to the right. So the bottom right one, do a bottom right diagonal, then zoom out. And now... Once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to fly to the up left one right here. So the up left corner of this 2x2 two two square. And we're going to do an up left angle from here. As you can see, that should look like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fly to the bottom left diagonal there. So the bottom left of the square. And we're going to do a bottom left diagonal from here. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. And we're going to place one to the left and then do another bottom left diagonal. And that's that little bit there done. I decided to do that because it's only small. But once we have done all of that, we are going to fly back to the one right here. So back to this bottom right diagonal. And again, that's just going to connect all the way up, back up to there. So fly back to the bottom right diagonal here. And we're going to place eight going underneath from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. We're going to place six going underneath here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place 1 going to the left, and then fly to the right and place 1 underneath. We're not going to be going back to the underneath one. We're going to be going back to the left one and connecting up to that. So, once we have flown back into this left one here, we're going to place 5 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then we're going to do an up left angle from here, and place 1 to the left just like so. And then we're going to do five up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And from this fifth one, we're going to place one on top 
just like so. Then do another up left diagonal, and place one on top. And then do another up left diagonal, and then do another up left diagonal, and place another one on top, just like so. Then finally, but not least, just do one more up left diagonal. And there we go. As you can see, we connected. And that just means we have done everything inside this ear correctly so far. And we're just going to zoom out. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> it looks, I don't know, I, I always find it funny looking at it when we do it in small outlines because it just kind of looks, uh, it looks weird. I was planning on doing the entire rectangle first, but it's like really, really a lot of counting. I mean, we're going to get to it anyway, the counting, but I thought I'd do it maybe in a bit shorter for you. So instead of counting 200, 100, another 200, another 200 another 400 like yeah so that's why i'm doing it like this for now but that is all from part one for today and again i just want to say again a massive thank you for getting 50 subs very much and i don't know how often we release this it'd probably just be the same as the others we'll release it randomly but if we hit five likes in the next 24 hours i will upload the next part within the next 24 hours or basically within the next day so again, without further ado, that's the end of today. Again, very thank you very much for 50 subs. And if you haven't already hit the like button, that would be much appreciated. And subscribe as well. And turn on the bell to get notified for new parts of this. And just other builds, if you want to check out any of my other builds. I do do uh, loads of other anime builds. I usually do more normal builds, like, um... Well, I would go over there, but it would take time. So you can just have a look. Just, like, hover over the page or something like that. Or you don't have to. You don't have to. It's just there in case you do want to do any other pixel art tutorials. I do all anime related themes, games, suggestions, logos, YouTubers. And if you do have any suggestions, feel free to put it into the comment, in the comments. And I will add it to a list because I've got quite a couple of suggestions to do. And I try and do mostly all the suggestions. And without further ado, that's the end of the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. And thank you very much. And bye bye.